Smile, Smile, Smile by Wilfred Owen Read for LibriVox.org by Andrew Macbeth Head to limp head, the sunk-eyed wounded scanned yesterday's mail, the casualties typed small, and, large, vast booty from our latest haul. Also, they read of cheap homes, not yet planned. For, said the paper, when this war is done, the men's first instinct will be making homes. Meanwhile, their foremost need is aerodromes, it being certain war has just begun. Peace would do wrong to our undying dead. The sons we offered might regret they died if we got nothing lasting in their stead. We must be solidly indemnified. Though all be worthy victory which all brought, we rulers sitting in this ancient spot would wrong our very selves if we forgot the greatest glory will be theirs who fought, who kept this nation in integrity. Nation? The half-limbed readers did not chafe, but smiled at one another curiously, like secret men who know their secret safe. This is the thing they know, and never speak, that England one by one had fled to France, not many elsewhere now save under France. Pictures of these broad smiles appear each week, and people in whose voice real feeling rings say, How they smile! They're happy now! Poor things! End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Smile, Smile, Smile by Rilfred Owen Read for LibriVox.org by Ankila Head to limp head, the sunk-eyed wounded scanned yesterday's mail, the casualties type small, and large, vast booty from our latest haul. Also, they read of cheap homes not yet planned, for, said the paper, when this war is done, the men's first instinct will be making homes. Meanwhile, their foremost need is aerodromes, it being certain war has just begun. Peace would do wrong for our undying dead. The sons we offered might regret they died if we got nothing lasting in their stead. We must be solidly indemnified. Though all be worthy, victory which all bought, we rulers sitting in this ancient spot would wrong our very selves if we forgot. The greatest glory will be theirs who fought, who keep this nation in integrity. Nation? The half-limbed readers did not chafe, but smiled at one another curiously, like secret men who know their secret safe. This is the thing they know and never speak, that England, one by one, had fled to France, not many elsewhere now, save under France. Pictures of those broad smiles appear each week, and people in whose voice real feeling rings, say, how they smile. They're happy now, poor things. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. This audiobook is brought to you by Full Audiobooks. Please like, subscribe, and click the bell icon if you love audiobooks. Smile, Smile, Smile by Wilfred Owen Read for LibriVox.org by Icy Jumbo Head to limp head, the sunk-eyed wounded scanned yesterday's mail. The casualties typed small, and large, vast booty from our latest haul. Also, they read of cheap homes, not yet planned. For, said the paper, when this war is done, the men's first instinct will be making homes. Meanwhile, their foremost need is aerodromes, it being certain war has just begun. Peace would do wrong to our undying dead. The sons we offered might regret they died if we got nothing lasting in their stead. We must be solidly indemnified. Though all be worthy victory which all bought, 
we rulers sitting in this ancient spot would wrong our very selves if we forgot the greatest glory will be theirs who fought who kept this nation in integrity nation the half-limbed readers did not chafe but smiled at one another curiously like secret men who know their secret safe this is the thing they know and never speak that england one by one had fled to france not many elsewhere now save under france pictures of these broad smiles appear each week and people in whose voice real feeling rings say how they smile they're happy now poor things end of poem this recording is in the public domain Smile, Smile, Smile by Wilfred Owen Read for LibriVox.org by David Fetterman Head to limp head The sunk-eyed wounded scanned yesterday's mail The casualties, type small and large Vast booty from our latest haul Also they read of cheap homes not yet planned for, said the paper, when this war is done, the men's first instinct will be making homes. Meanwhile, their foremost need is aerodromes, it being certain war has just begun. Peace would do wrong to our undying dead. The sons be offered might regret they died, if we got nothing lasting in their stead. We must be solidly indemnified, Though all be worthy, victory which all bought, We rulers sitting in this ancient spot Would wrong our very selves if we forgot. The greatest glory will be theirs who fought, Who kept this nation in integrity. Nation? The half-limbed readers did not chafe, But smiled at one another curiously, Like secret men who know their secret safe. This is the thing they know and never speak, That England one by one had fled to France, Not many elsewhere now save under France. Pictures of these broad smiles appear each week, And people in whose voice real feeling rings Say, how they smile. They're happy now, poor things. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Smile, Smile, Smile by Wilfred Owen Read for LibriVox.org by David Lawrence November 11, 2008 Head to limp head, the sunk-eyed wounded scanned yesterday's mail. The casualties type small, and large, vast booty from our latest haul. Also, they read of cheap homes not yet planned. For, the paper said, When this war is done, men's first instinct will be making homes. Meanwhile, their foremost need is aerodromes. It being certain war has just begun, peace would do wrong to our undying dead. Our sons we offered might regret they died if we got nothing lasting in their stead. We must be solidly indemnified, though all be worthy victory which all bought. We rulers sitting in this ancient spot would wrong our very selves if we forgot the greatest glory will be theirs who fought, who kept this nation in integrity. Nation? The half limbed readers did not chafe but smiled at one another curiously, like secret men who know their secret safe. This is the thing they know and never speak, that England, one by one, had fled to France. Not many elsewhere now, save under France. Pictures of these broad smiles appear each week, and people in whose voice real feeling rings say, How they smile! They're happy now, poor things! End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Smile, Smile, Smile by Wilfred Owen 
Read for LibriVox.org by Ewan Bayliss. Head to limp head, the sunk-eyed wounded scanned yesterday's mail, the casualties, type small, and, large, vast booty from our latest haul. Also, they read of cheap homes not yet planned, for, said the paper, when this war is done, the men's first instincts will be making homes. Meanwhile, their foremost need is aerodromes, it being certain war has just begun. Peace would do wrong to our undying dead. The sons we offered might regret they died if we got nothing lasting in their stead. We must be solidly indemnified. There will be worthy victory, which all bought, we rulers sitting in this ancient spot, would wrong our very selves if we forgot. The greatest glory will be theirs who fought, who kept this nation in integrity. Nation? The half-limbed readers did not chafe, but smiled at one another curiously, like secret men who knew their secret safe. This is the thing they know and never speak, that England one by one had fled to France. Not many elsewhere now, save under France. Pictures of these broad smiles appear each week, and people in whose voice real feeling rings say, How they smile! They're happy now, poor things. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain. Smile, smile, smile by Wilfred Owen Read for LibriVox.org by Joseph Finkberg Head to limp head, the sunk-eyed wounded scanned yesterday's mail. The casualties typed small and large, vast booty from our latest haul. Also they read of cheap homes, not yet planned, for said the paper, when this war is done, the men's first instinct will be making homes. Meanwhile, their foremost need is aerodromes. It being certain, war has just begun. Peace would do wrong to our undying dead. The sons we offered might regret they died if we got nothing lasting in their stead. We must be solidly indemnified. Though all be worthy victory which all bought, we rulers sitting in this ancient spot would wrong our very selves if we forgot. The greatest glory will be theirs who fought, who kept this nation in integrity. Nation? The half-limbed readers did not chafe, but smiled at one another curiously, like secret men who know their secret safe. This is the thing they know and never speak, that England, one by one, had fled to France. Not many elsewhere now, save under France. Pictures of these broad smiles appear each week, And people in whose voice real feeling rings say, How they smile, they're happy now, poor things. End of poem. The smile, Smile, Smile by Wilfred Owen Read for LibriVox.org by Ruth Golding Head to limp head, the sunk-eyed wounded scanned yesterday's mail, the casualties typed small, and large, vast booty from our latest haul. Also they read of cheap homes, not yet planned. For, said the paper, when this war is done, the men's first instinct will be making homes. Meanwhile their foremost need is aerodromes, it being certain war has just begun. Peace would do wrong to our undying dead. The sons we offered might regret they died if we got nothing lasting in their stead. We must be solidly indemnified. Though all be worthy victory which all bought, we rulers, sitting in this ancient spot, would wrong our very selves if we forgot the greatest glory will be theirs who fought, who kept this nation in integrity. Nation, 
the half-limbed readers did not chafe, but smiled at one another curiously, like secret men who know their secret safe. This is the thing they know and never speak. That England, one by one, had fled to France, not many elsewhere now save under France. Pictures of these broad smiles appear each week, and people in whose voice real feeling rings say, How they smile! They're happy now, poor things. End of poem. Smile, smile, smile by Wilfred Owen. Head to limb, walk by Veronil. Head to limb, head. The sun guide when it scanned yesterday's mail. The casualties, type small and large, vast beauty from our latest hall. Also, they read of cheap homes, not yet planned. For, said the paper, when this was done, the men's first instinct will be making homes. Meanwhile, their foremost need is aerodromes. It being certain war has just begun. Peace would do wrong to our undying dead. The sons we offered might regret they died. If we got nothing lasting in their stead, we must be solidly undemnified. Though all be worthy victory, which all bought, we rulers sitting in this ancient spot. What wrong our very selves if we forgot? The greatest glory will be theirs who fought, who kept this nation in integrity. Nation, the half limbed readers did not chafe, but smiled at one another curiously. Like secret men who know their secret safe, this is the thing they know and never speak. That England one by one had fled to France, not many elsewhere now safe under France. Pictures of these broad smiles appear each week, and people in whose voice real feeling rings say how they smile, they are happy now, poor things. End of poem. This recording is in public domain.